Hey guys, uh, Dragon of Warfare here, and today's video I will show you how to update the drivers and software on the Lenovo Legion Go. So that was one of my main questions um, when I got this thing. So it's pretty pretty easy. Um, well, like I said, I had to kind of figure it out first, but it's nice. This thing is pretty big and bulky. So, uh, but you are playing you know PC level games with and handheld. Uh, mode so let's go into it uh what i did you can go to the internet browser i downloaded google chrome and then it's through the lenovo support us page so here it is i have it already kind of saved but i'll put this in the description below so you guys can check it out so there it is i already have it where you have to pick if not you have to go through the pc support laptops legion series um it's a big thing, but like I said, I'll, I'll link this in the description below. It took me a little bit to figure it out, but I have found it. So drivers and software. So this is where you'll be able to update the drivers and software. Um, so you can see there's different there. There's the the Legion Go, of course. You do troubleshoot, diagnostics, how to, warranty service, repair status, parts, trade in, contact us. But of course, you're going to go where it says drivers and software. Now you can uh, automatically do update or manual update. Uh, like if we just scan it right now, it'll start scanning. So start scan and it will go ahead and scan. Uh, you will have to download the Lenovo service bridge, which I already did. Um, it will prompt you to download it. So go ahead and download that and install it guys. It's uh, it's uh, basically easy. So there you go, as you can see, it's starting to scan. A pretty fast scan. I already did this, so I should be up to date with everything, but I'll show you how to manually do it as well. So, but yeah, this is how you update the drivers and software just in case Lenovo doesn't like push one out. And of course, you always want to do the newest softwares, software updates, and everything um, through Windows 11 and everything. But as you can see, uh, I already have everything installed on mine, so there's no other version. On here so but if we go back I'll show you, you can manually um, do this so let's go back here oh back to previous page okay so you can do manual update click on here and then this is all the different things that you can you have updates for or that's available for this so there's a network camera card reader um, and the main one is graphics processor unit so here it is. And I already have this one, uh, but as you can see, um, there it is. So you click on it, I already have it. Um, you can download it, it's recommended. So go ahead and download it. Like I said, I already did this, but click download. It goes to your download, um, pending downloads. And then you'll just install it. So AMD graphics driver. This just gives you better support um, with different things. Like I said, I did the Wi-Fi and a couple other ones. Um, of course, this is November 6th. It is recommended. So once that downloads, as you can see, it goes up here. There it is. Click on it. And something should pop up. There you go, it's just taking a minute. Click yes. English, I accept. Next, and just install, and then click next, install, and there you go, it's installing it. So if you haven't done this, like I said, I would recommend just do the, the scan, but I'm showing you guys you could do this manually. And as is, uh, making this video, like I said, this was November 6th, so not too bad. There you go, it's installing it. Let's say if you have any issues with other things, that's what I would do, update the drivers on everything else. Um, so like I said, I think I was having an issue with the Wi-Fi being kind of slow on here. So I went ahead and did that update as well and it seemed to fix it, so not bad at all. There you go, it does its thing and there you go. It's installed. Like I said, if you have anything else, it does give you more things you can, um, like the audio, the Bluetooth, the modem, 
the wireless, software and utilities, power management, camera. So everything is uh, pretty, pretty nice. Like I said, I already did all these um, just, just in case, you know. So, yep, that's how it is, guys. Thanks for watching. Please come rate, subscribe. Hopefully this was helpful. But that is how you manually update uh, software on here. So, um, you can also do a small performance to clean up your PC from junk, malware, all that stuff. But that's how you do it, guys. And thanks for watching. Like I said, you always as well want to make sure that the software is up to date on uh, through like Windows 11 and everything. But that's how you do it. Thanks for watching, guys. Please comment, subscribe. More videos coming your way. Check it out and let me know if you liked these kind of videos. So thank you.